Ken Whiting with Paddle TV with another in-depth, unbiased gear review. In this video, we're gonna look at a kayak that, well, seems to, or claims to, solve one of two big problems that people have when trying to choose the right kayak. First of all, portability. Transport or carry around a full-size kayak, you need a portable kayak. Secondly, you have to choose the right kayak for the type of paddling you're doing. But what if you're not really sure what type of paddling you're gonna be doing, or you're not gonna be doing one type of paddling specifically, so what do you get? Well, Sea Eagle thinks that they have the solution. The Sea Eagle 380X is designed as an all-round portable kayak. In fact, here's what Sea Eagle has to say about it. The Sea Eagle 380X is made to be ridden by one or two persons. Now you can do what others only dream of with our most versatile inflatable kayak series ever. Capable of handling any type of adventure, fishing, touring, camping, exploring, adventuring, whitewater, but never boring. Sounds pretty good. Of course, it's my job to give her a test and see how it stacks up to their claims and is it worth the money. So let's get right into it. The Sea Eagle 380X comes in a variety of packages. The Pro Package has a price of 999 US dollars. The kayak is 12 feet, six inches long. It's 39 inches wide. It weighs 40 pounds or 18 kilograms, and it has a capacity of 750 pounds or 340 kilograms. The kayak has a drop stitch floor, which can be pumped up to 10 PSI, nice and firm. It has 24 D-rings to secure seats and other gear. It's self-bailing with 16 drain holes that can be sealed. It has a removable skeg, and depending on the package you get, it comes with paddles, seats, carry bag, repair kit, and pump. You can get other options like a sailing kit, a rowing kit, or an electric motor kit. I like the looks of it. I'm not sure if it's a kayak or a party barge, but I do like the looks of it. And after testing the Sea Eagle 393 late razor light last season, which I really did like, I really want to try this other model by Sea Eagle. Now, I know it's not going to perform as well as this, or I, I'm pretty sure it won't perform, perform as well as the 393, but we'll see how it does for all types of paddling. So let's get it to the water and give it a whirl. That was a fun way to test this kayak. I spent a day on the Nanahala River in North Carolina, really pushed this thing in white water. I also got a chance to take it to some flat water, put the skeg in and see how it, how it worked that way too. I tested it in a variety of conditions. Now, here's what I can tell you having fully tested this kayak. But before I get into that, a quick comment to a quick note about safety, paddling safety. Um, the ACA has recently come out with, the ACA is the American Canoe Association. They recently came out with an online paddling course. It's completely free. You might not think it's something that you need, but the reality is paddling is inherently a very safe sport, but when things do go wrong, things can go very, very wrong. And oftentimes it's just a little bit of information that could have made the difference from a slight inconvenience on water and a disastrous outcome on the water. And so make the small investment, take the free online paddling course from the ACA. You simply go to AmericanCanoe.org invest in your own safety for free. Now, the 380X. Let's start with uh, the assembly and the portability of this thing. Very easy to pump up. There's three chambers to this thing. The 
floor chamber is drop stitched. You pump it up to 10 PSI. The outer chambers are not. You pump the outer chambers up to around, I believe it was around three PSI. I'll have to double check that. You could do them, do it all with a hand pump quite quickly. Uh, an electric pump, it's a better way to go if you're going to be doing it a lot. You're just going to save yourself some work. Save the energy for paddling, not for pumping. Uh, portability, very good. The only thing I can say about portability is that the kayak doesn't have any grab loops on the side. It has nice grab loops or, or carry straps on the ends of the kayak, so easy for two people to carry. It's a little bit harder for a single person to carry. It's a lot easier to carry as a tandem than a solo. 40 pounds, that for a 12 foot kayak that does it all, you know what, That's I'd call that highly portable. Now let's go right to stability. This thing is stable. This thing is wide. This thing, I mean, you have to try to flip this thing or to fall out of this thing. You can stand up in, in this boat, whether you're in white water, flat water. Stability is the name of the game with this kayak. Well, let's talk about performance in white water. It's a 12 foot kayak. Anytime you take a 12 foot kayak into white water, that's a long white water kayak. It's actually 12 foot six inches. So it's over 12 and a half, it's 12 and a half feet. And so a 12 and a half foot kayak in white water is not an ideal white water length. But this isn't supposed to be an ideal white water boat. It's supposed to be a boat that can do it all. So, you know, you're, that's what you're giving up. That being said, it does great in white water. I was running rapids, I was catching eddies, I was surfing waves, I was having a ton of fun on the river in this boat. Did it catch eddies as well as other whitewater specific kayaks? No. Did it surf waves as well? No. It didn't do these things as well, but it does it. And it did it while providing a lot of confidence. Now performance on flat water. It's a 12 and a half foot boat. So that extra length that was a bit of a, you know, a bit much maybe for whitewater, it was nice to have that extra length in flat water. Is it fast? Absolutely not. It's not a fast kayak, but on flat water, carries reasonable speed, and with the skeg in there, it actually tracks quite well, but it's still easy to turn when you want it to turn. It's a nice mix. So not surprisingly, performs well in both those conditions, not great. Comfort. Um, well, it's a really comfortable boat. I mean, there's so much room in this thing. It's extremely roomy for one person. For two people, it's still got plenty of room. It's not huge for two people, but it's got plenty of room. The seat, this uh, from the Pro package, this is the upgraded seat. It's a nice seat. This, the, the seat pad is elevated, which helps keep your butt off the floor of this thing and helps keep your butt dry. Of course, in white water, your butt's wet anyway, but in the flat water, it made a difference. The high seat back provides lots of support, not for paddling, but for relaxing. The only thing that's missing this, which I usually refer to as a comfort item, as well as performance item, is foot braces. There's no foot pegs or foot braces in this thing whatsoever. Typically, when you don't have foot pegs, it means your legs don't have support and your legs aren't as comfortable. Well, that's not a factor so much in this kayak because your legs lie against these side tubes. is isn't a real comfort issue, it's more of a performance issue. Not a lot of features to talk about, so I'm going to go through them quick. First, the fact that it can be used as both a solo and a tandem. It comes with two seats. This, this particular package comes with two seats and two kayak paddles and you fit in here pretty comfortably as two people. That's a great feature. The other feature that's nice is the self-draining capability of this thing. It has 16 scupper plugs or drain holes in this kayak uh, and they're nice and low and they're sealable. So if you don't want it to be self-draining, because the thing is with self-draining is it lets, when you get waves uh, splashing or anything splashing water inside the kayak, the water drains out those holes. But if you don't have water in the kayak, nothing's splashing in, those holes also let splashes and let water into the kayak. So for flat water, you can close those up and for white water or surf, you can open those up and then you have a self-draining kayak. That's a great feature. A third feature that's worth, you know, mentioning is on the back of the seat, it has a pocket. Now that's not nothing special, but it's just a nice little touch because you always need to carry stuff and there's no hatches or anything in this boat. So you can carry, throw a dry bag in there, a first aid kit, you can throw some water snacks, 
sunscreen right in there. It's not going to stay waterproof. If you need it waterproof, put it uh, in a little dry bag and then in here. Um, this kayak is for somebody that A, needs a portable kayak, needs a kayak that they can throw in the back of their car, in their trunk, or, or it can store in their apartment, in a closet, or <laughs> under the bed. But on top of that, they, they want a kayak that can do everything. It doesn't need to do anything really well because this isn't a kayak that does any particular type of paddling really well. It does every type of paddling reasonably well. Now, overall value. I have to say, this kayak is 999 US dollars. Not just the kayak, the kayak, two seats, two paddles, a pump, a repair kit, and the carrying bag. That's pretty amazing. Uh, for a kayak that does as much as this does, provides the versatility, and is well made, is durable, is it worth it? Absolutely. I think this is exceptional value. And for some people who can't, a lot of people who either don't want to have multiple kayaks, can't afford to have multiple kayaks, or, the, or want the hassle of dealing with multiple kayaks, that's a great alternative, is having one kayak that you can take anywhere. That's all I gotta say about the Sea Eagle 380X. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please uh, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already, and make sure to watch for the Paddle Tales episode. Again, the link will be in the description box down below where I take this thing on a real adventure on the Nanahalo River, part of my North Carolina road trip this spring. And we'll see you guys soon for another gear review and another paddling adventure.